Hey, and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain what the social selling index is on LinkedIn and how you can use it to track your performance and help you make sales. So if you've never watched a video from before, I'm Dean Seddon, CEO and founder of Maverick, one of the UK and the world's largest social selling training companies for LinkedIn. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the social selling index. You can have a look at it, see what it is, and explore it for yourself. So on screen, I've got the social selling index, which is a score that LinkedIn gives you when you use the platform. Now, you can only see this if you're on Sales Navigator. You need a Sales Navigator subscription. And as you can see, this is my social selling index. So you'll see it gives me a score, a score of 88 out of 100. And it says in my team, I'm one of 19. So I'm the top social seller according to this index in my company. I'm in the top 1% of the industry that I'm in. I'm in the top 1% network rank. In other words, so the industry I rank for, I'm in the top 1% and the network I'm in, I rank top 1%. So what does that mean? Well, let me just explain what this is. Now, the first thing to bear in mind is these are relative scores. So whilst they can be helpful, in improving your performance and helping you build your brand and establish yourself on the platform, it's not a score that equals sales, but it tells you if you're heading in the right direction. So the score's made up out of four metrics. First one, establishing your professional brand. This is about are you being seen and are you consistent in what you're communicating and who you represent and how you represent yourself? And as you can see, I've nailed that one, absolutely nailed that one. Then the next one is finding the right people. So I'm I'm kind of pretty decent, pretty decent, 20, 20 score out of 25, which is basically, am I basically using the platform to find and research and engage with the right people? And then the second one is engage with insights. And this is about learning about what's going on on the platform and using what's going on the platform uh, you know, content, insights in the inside the platform to actually uh, build uh, a content bank and knowledge and expertise and, and all of that stuff. Like I said, these are very kind of, uh, very kind of basic metrics, but they do indicate success, but just gaming the system to do it. So you can see engage with insights, discover and share conversation worthy updates to create and grow relationships. So I need to do a bit better on that. And then the final one is building relationships, right? Building relationships and building trust with the right decision makers, and I'm top of the tree on that. So I've got two bits of this that I score really well. And then it gives me a comparison of me to the rest of my industry. So people in my team, people in my industry, people in my network, and the, you can see I'm outperforming basically everybody in my network. Now, this social selling index, like I said, it's on Sales Navigator, but it allows you to see where am I a bit weaker? Where do I need to improve? So for an example, if you're using LinkedIn and all you're doing is just pitching people, your score will be shocking because you're not building relationships, you're not establishing your professional brand. You might score decent on finding the right people, but you're not gonna score well on engaging with insights. So this is the key here to understanding how do I improve my social selling index? What is it? But importantly, using your social selling index to help you see where you're being successful. So I'd love you to share what your social selling index with me in the comments. And if you've got any questions about social selling, put them below and I will answer your questions or I'll make a video about it.